Okay, so Mr. Tan drove an average speed of 80 km per hour from his home to the office, and he drove home from his office via the same route at an average speed of 70 km per hour. So already right now, I can see that it is 80 to 70, just like the table that we have here, right? This table that we have here, it is 80 to 70 the speed. Okay. What would the, right? 80 to 70 km per hour is also the same as 8 is to 7. Okay. This is a common what? Why don't we start off? Ajmao, this is common what? Common time or common distance? Is this time? Um, why don't you read the question again and then you tell me? Oh, is, is, it, is it common distance? Yeah, it's common distance, right? Because the distance between the office and the home is the same, just that your speed is different. Now, if you look at the tables before, if I have a common distance, if my speed is four to five, my time will switch. You see? If it's a common time, if my speed is four to five, my distance will also be four to five. So you gotta ask yourself, right? What should the ratio of the time be here? Time taken here be? What is the one? That's a clue to solving this question. Seven to eight. Okay, good. So you know it's seven to eight. Okay, then how do you make use of this piece of information to solve this question? Okay, which actually focuses on this. If it took 15 minutes longer to reach home, what's the distance between so many office? One okay, unit. Go. Okay, wait, Lokesh, um, you give me your, your answer, all right? I think you're on the right, you are on the right track. So you just need to uh, give me your final answer. Okay, don't worry, I'm gonna help. Huh? Why? Because now the clue is this. If it took 15 minutes longer to reach home, right? We are talking about time over here, which tells you that the difference in time taken is actually 15 minutes, right? Which means that actually one unit here is 15 minutes. Okay, Anshmao, can you understand it? Toby, one unit is 15 minutes, right? Because it's seven to eight, one. Okay, now you want to find the distance. Okay, distance is speed times time. Okay, that's a clue I'm going to give you, which means you either want to work on the S1, T1, or S2, T2. Okay, that's, that's, what I'm going to, that's a clue I'm going to give you. If you want to find distance, uh, do you know the speed? You have two different speeds. So which one do you want to use? Do you know the time? You have two different possible times. Which one do you want to use? My answer is 800 more than 800. No, no, too big. Too big. Okay, again, I'm going to say, right, distance is speed times time. Right, so you have two. Do you want to work with S1, speed one, or speed two? And of course, if you work with speed two, then you have to work correspondingly for um, time one and time two. Okay, but I'm gonna help you. One unit is 15 minutes. Okay, how do I move on from here? And this is obviously time. Ashma, you look lost. Chloe, how about you? Are you okay? Lost as well. Okay. Uh, teacher. Yeah. Uh, you wrote that that distance equals to speed times time, right? Yeah. So, we know that one year is 15 minutes. So, should, yeah. should I find like, I want to take S1 and T1. Okay, so, can I take good. 8 times 15, which is 120, and for T1 is 105. So, do I take um 120 times 105? Okay. So, it's speed times time, right? So, you said that you want to use S1. But you want to find eight units for what? Eight units is T2. If I want to use S1, then I use T1 also. Am I correct? Um, low cash, yes. Okay, so Ashma, you want to use S1, right? So to want to use S1 means that you want to focus on S1 and T1. So what is T1? How many units is T1? 
105. Very good, because T1 is 7U and 7U is 15 times. Okay, so instead of 105, sorry, because 15 minutes, right? 15 minutes, I need to convert this to hours. One quarter hour. Okay, so 7U is one quarter times seven. It is seven over four hour. So this is actually what we call T1. Okay, now, um, Achmao, now you have T1. How do you find distance? How can you find distance now with T1? You can take a 80 kilometer times 7 over 4. Exactly. Can you work it out for me? Okay. Chloe, do you get that? Do you understand what happened, right? What's happening, right? Okay. okay so the, it's answer, the, same. the answer is 140. Yes, exactly. So your distance is S1 times T1 equals to 80 km per hour multiplied by 7 over 4 hour. You get 140 km. Yes, good. Okay, so it's the same thing for the subsequent few questions, okay? The only tricky thing, uh, which I think, which is probably where Likyat, you, you, you may have made the mistake is this. How do you interpret 16 minutes late and six minutes late? Okay, Likyat, so that's, that's probably um, what you need to take note of. Okay, again, uh, you have to identify this common distance or is it common time? 